All right, the next thing we're going to talk about, Bill Clinton gets into some hot water uh, in many, many, many scandals. Uh, so, starting off with the top, the Whitewater Development. Okay, while he was the governor of Arkansas, that's where Bill Clinton's from, uh, he was involved in a real estate scandal where basically the Clintons were scamming people, <coughs> excuse me, scamming people out of their money. <laughs> President Clinton and his wife were accused of being involved in a real estate scam while he was the governor of Arkansas. This became public knowledge during the 1992 presidential election. So this was part of the original campaign that got Clinton into it. Now the guy that was behind this uh, Whitewater scandal, as we call it, was Vince Foster. And Vince Foster ended up, he was going to uh, tell on the Clintons, he was going to to tell everything the Clintons had done. He was going to rat on them, if you will. And he ended up killing himself. Okay. Now, he may have actually killed himself, or maybe the Clintons had something to do with it. That's what the Republicans say. Um, but he ended up killing himself right before he was going to bring those files to the federal government uh, to prosecute the Clintons. So that was one thing. All right, so Vince Foster, a member of the President Clinton's staff, commits suicide in July 1993 in his office with his documentation associated with the Whitewater development was with him at the time. Attorney General Janet Reno turns the case over to the Office of Independent Counsel, who in turn appoints Kenneth Starr to investigate the matter. Following Watergate the pre uh, with President Nixon, the press and the American people had become suspicious of government leaders. So. With the Watergate scandal, which I talked to you about before with Richard Nixon coming out of office, uh, basically what ended up happening is people stopped trusting the government. And this is whenever we got a lot of scrutiny on our presidents, and it's never gone back since. Uh, used to, you know, JFK, he had affairs with Marilyn Monroe and other women, and the media just didn't say anything about it. Well, now th the rules have changed. And now the president is under the microscope all the time. And that's continuing into today's politics all the time, okay? No matter which side you're on, Democrat or Republican, okay? So during the Whitewater Development investigation, a young lady named Paula Joan files a sexual harassment lawsuit against the president. Starr adds this to his Watergate uh, investigation. Uh, with regard to Paula Jones' investigation, President Clinton testified that he did not have an affair with a White House intern. However, taped evidence is discovered which would contradict this testimony. Okay, so Bill Clinton, just to, to be on, this is Paula Jones right here, this lady, okay. Uh, people are coming out of the woodwork. Women from Arkansas are saying that Bill Clinton has raped them, that he has sexually assaulted them, that he arrest, uh, not arrested, but molested them. And um, this is all coming out while he's president. And during that investigation, it comes out that Bill Clinton had had a relationship with a young intern, somebody that was working at the White House for free under him. Her name was Monica Lewinsky, and I think she was 20 years old, maybe 22, something like that. And he was almost in his 50s, or maybe he was in his early 50s by this point. So what happened was, there was a, a lady that was friends with Monica Lewinsky, and Miss Lewinsky was on the phone with this lady, and she described in excruciating detail the sexual relationship between Bill Clinton and herself, and her friend was recording it the whole time. And she asked her on the tape if Monica had any physical evidence. And, and Ms. Lewinsky said, yes, I do. I have a blue dress that has the president's DNA on it. Okay? I'm not going to explain that to you. You can think about it for a second, maybe ask your parents, but I'm not getting get into that. Okay? If the DNA from the president is all over the dress of Monica Lewinsky, and she didn't wash it, she hung it up in her closet. Okay? And so... A, an inquiry comes in, they start, uh, Congress starts talking to President Clinton, and they swear him in under oath. And during that investigation, they said, has there ever been a relationship between you and, no, excuse me. They said, is there a relationship between you and Ms. Lewinsky? The wording is very important here. 
and Bill Clinton said no. Okay. Now later on, they're going to find out that that was a lie. They're going to get the DNA evidence from the dress. They're going to get the recordings with Linda Tripp, which is her friend's name. And they're going to bring President Clinton back, this time under impeachment circumstances. So an impeachment does not mean that the president gets kicked out. Okay, Most Americans don't understand. An impeachment means that official charges have been brought against the president of the United States by Congress, okay? So they're impeaching him for a crime called perjury. And perjury means whenever you lie under oath. So whenever he said there was no relationship with Ms. Lewinsky, he was lying, okay? So they bring him back, and in the new impeachment trial, the Republicans definitely want Bill Clinton's head on a stick, you know? They want him to be uh, tried for this and kicked out of office. And so they asked him, why did you lie whenever we asked you, is there a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky? And his response, by the way, Bill used to be a lawyer back in Arkansas. His response is, it depends on what your definition of the word is, is. Okay? So what he said was, your man asked me, is there a relationship between you and Ms. Lewinsky? And I said no, because at the time, that relationship had ended. Now, what your man should have asked me was, has there ever been a relationship between you and Ms. Lewinsky? And if he had asked that question, I would have said yes. And so Bill Clinton, after much deliberation, is found not guilty of perjury under the law, and he is set free, and he is allowed to continue on his presidency. Now, a funny thing happens, folks. His approval rating with women plummets at this point. And his approval rating with men shot through the roof because Bill Clinton cheated on his wife and he got away with it. And men were sympathetic to his, his play. So, moving on. The House of Representatives voted to impeach President Clinton on perjury and obstruction of justice charges. The Senate refuses to convict, stating that even Kenneth Starr cannot state exactly where the president committed perjury. In 2000, President Clinton was officially cleared of all charges associated with Whitewater. So uh, he will leave office with the highest approval rating on record of any president in the 1900s or the 20th century. So this is him right here getting acquitted. Here we go, folks. Here's the questions. What was a common sentiment of the American public during and following Watergate. So this is the Nixon administration. So what? how did the American public feel about the, the government about after Watergate? Uh, let's see. Man, A, A's looking pretty good. Let's read the rest, okay? Uh, let's see. Americans had an absurd no, okay? Republican Party, no, not that. Okay, it has to be A, folks. Basically, we stopped believing in the government. We stopped trusting the government. We thought they were dishonest after the Watergate scam. All right, here we go. Uh, this question is very ambiguous, folks. It's hard to answer, okay? But we're going to go through it anyway. The leap, question, the leap test is basically a reading test. If you don't know how to read, you're not going to do well on this test. So you need to practice your reading skills. Here we go. We must also regard these articles because there is every reason to doubt the House manager's case on perjury and obstruction of justice. They have presented not one shred of direct evidence for their claims, and the details of their circumstantial case have been decimated in many respects. As one manager said on national television, he couldn't win this case in a court of law as it was prosecuted in the House. This is Senator Barbara Boxer, 1999. In this quotation, Senator Barbara Boxer discusses the articles of impeachment against President Clinton. The quotation suggests that the impeachment created controversy over what? Okay, so why was the impeachment, this is what they're asking, why was the impeachment controversial? Why wasn't it just a straightforward thing? And the answer is A, right here. The Republicans wanted so badly to convict President Clinton that they put up a bad case with very little evidence and they just tried to make it stick. If it wasn't for politics, 
then Bill Clinton never would have been put on trial. It was a, definitely a Republican uh, Congress trying to get rid of a Democrat president, and that was the only purpose for the impeachment, pretty much. Okay, that's the impeachment trial. That's it.